everybody. It's Tasty Tuesday and we're back in my kitchen and today we're traveling to France and we're going to make some goat's cheese known in France as chèvre and chèvre means goat in French and of all the cheeses it's one of the easiest to make. So we have a gallon of low-fat goat's milk and I just bought this at my local grocery store. Um, a few years ago, you could never find goat's milk in a grocery store, but it's gotten more popular, I think. A lot of people aren't drinking uh, cow's milk, so it's easier to find. It's not cheap, though. It's kind of expensive compared to cow's milk, but it's fun to make cheese, so whatever. So the first thing you have to do is take, I have a gallon of goat's milk, I'm gonna heat it to 86 degrees. Be sure you have a really good thermometer and uh, we're gonna heat it to 86 degrees. Okay, our milk has been on medium heat for about five minutes. I'm going to put in our starter, which is uh, something I bought online. You can buy most of your cheese making products online and this one I got from Cultures for Health, a company I use very often. And in goes the starter. And the link for Cultures for Health is on my YouTube description. So we're gonna stir the starter around, just like that. We're turning off the heat. Make sure it's all stirred in. And on goes the cover. And I'm not gonna look at it again for 12 hours. It needs to stay at 72 degrees overnight, undisturbed. Good morning. Our goat cheese has been sitting for 12 hours and I just got out of bed, getting ready to go for my run. And I'm, I'm thinking it's a little watery. Um, maybe more whey than curds than I was expecting. Coffee always helps. So we're gonna just give it a try. So I have butter muslin. If you don't know what that is, you can also order that online. It's perfect for cheese making. You can use it for other things too. And I have draped a double layer of butter muslin over my colander which is sitting in a bowl. And now I'm going to very carefully take the curds from, it smells kind of like buttermilk, and pour them into the colander. This is a lot. There's a lot in here. Oh, it's a, it's a little firmer on the bottom. And It's going to take a little while to drain here. Okay, I went for my run and I let this sit in the colander for about an hour. And now it's going to hang over the sink for another 6 to 12 hours. Now, this butter muslin, I'm supposed to be able to just tie it. I'm not quite sure how I want to do that. And then I'm going to take it into my uh, laundry room and put it over that sink because I think that will be more out of the way. But it's looking good. All right, I'm going to take it into the laundry room. Okay, so um, welcome to my laundry room. I added a piece of twine to this because I wasn't confident that the muslin was going to hold. And I'm just going to tie it here. Um, and I guess we're not going to use our utility sink today, but that's okay. We don't want to do laundry today. All right, so there it is. Just going to sit there for 6 to 12 hours. If you leave it for less time, it'll be creamier. And the longer you leave it, it'll be a bit drier. So we'll see what happens in maybe 10 hours from now. Hi, we're back. Uh, our goat's cheese is done. It took a lot longer than any time I've made it before 
we let it hang for um, almost 24 hours. And I think the lesson there is that just depending on the environment, you have to let your cheese decide when it's ready. So I'm gonna open this up now. I've already got the other one in the bowl. And this, um, by the way, this cheesecloth, or they call it um, butter cloth, is um, definitely reusable many, many times. So just put it in the washing machine. All right, so I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's our beautiful goat's cheese. And I've already tested it, and believe me, it's really good. So we're gonna dump it in here and kind of scrape off the edges on the cloth. There's no salt in this either. I don't actually know if you should add salt, but the recipe does not call for salt, and it, it tastes great with, without the salt. Now, the only thing I'm going to do to this is I'm going to combine the two that are in here together, and it's really creamy. And then I've chiffonade some basil that was in my garden, and I'm going to put that in here, smush it all around, get it all set into one single ball or maybe like a log, and then I'm gonna wrap it in cellophane and put it in the fridge and let it uh, set again for a couple more hours. But we'll be eating this probably today. So, goat's cheese, super easy, super delicious. Hope you'll give it a try. Thanks.